infrastructure management functionalities have been tightly integrated with Enterprise Manager in this 13C release. With this, Enterprise Manager can now manage the entire stack all the way from application to disk. This provides a single pane of glass management view for administrators. This also enables cross-tier management of the stack. As an example, you can do top-down diagnostics, have the ability to drill down into any hardware issues in the context of an application. Or you could do bottom-up impact analysis by determining which applications will be impacted if one of the hardware targets are patched or taken into maintenance mode. All infrastructure targets managed by Enterprise Manager will show up in all targets page under Servers, Storage and Network section as shown. Here you can see the list of various infrastructure targets like host, server, PDU, network, virtual servers, and virtualization platform. If you have engineered systems that are being managed by Enterprise Manager, those engineered systems will show up under Engineered Systems section as shown here. <clears throat> here you see supercluster is one of the engineering systems being managed by enterprise manager now let us look at some of the functionalities of infrastructure management in enterprise manager 13c every infrastructure target will have its own home page let's look at Supercluster target home page. A typical target page will have dashlets at the top. Contents of the dashlets varies based on the target types. The first three dashlets provides most important information. Target details, summary of open incidents and resource utilization. Every hardware target will have a photorealistic view of the target. When you mouse over on any component, a pop-up will show details of the component. A red outline indicates there is an issue with the specific component with one click it will take you to the list of incidents in the incident manager these are the 10 incidents which are very context specific for that component type once you troubleshoot these incidents you can get back to your uh, target type. <clears throat> Another key feature in this release is target navigation tree. It's an intuitive tree navigation to browse and go to any target in an engineered system. Targets are logically grouped by their type like compute nodes, Ethernet switches, Exadata storage servers, InfiniBand switches, PDUs, and ZFS storage servers. You can navigate to each folder and find out list of all targets under them. As an example, under Compute Notes folder, you see 
four server target types. Let's look at one of the server target types. By clicking on it, it will take you to its home page. And from here, we can see the overall health of the server target and also analyze various metrics that are gathered for this target type. The first three dashlets provides most important information. Target details, it gives you the list of uh, basic informations like the model of the server, the memory capacity, CPU type, the IP address, the firmware version, the overall health of the target and also the locator indicates where in your data center is this target located. The second dashlet gives you overall summary of open incidents. It covers all three types of incidents, fatal, critical and warning. The third dashlet gives you details on the resource utilization. Photorealistic view provides the actual view of the target with details of the components. In this case, it gives you the front view of the target and also the rear view of the target. You mouse over on any of the component and you will get more details of that particular component. If there is any issue with any of the target, there will be a red outline. You click on that and that will take you to the list of incidents for troubleshooting purposes in the incident manager. Besides this, there is something called tabs on the right side of the page here. Each of the tab gives you a lot of valuable metrics information of the target. So let's look at a couple of them. If you go to logical view tab, you will see various metrics collected and displayed. There are comprehensive set of metrics for each component. CPU sub tab lists out details of the processor, serial number, part number, location and operational status of each module. S similarly, memory sub tab lists out memory module specific details, serial number, part number, location and operational status of the module. Similar information is provided for other components like power, fan, storage, disk controller, network ports, and PCI devices. There is a tab for energy consumption. This will let you know the inlet and outlet temperature and fan speed. It also builds out trend lines for power consumption and utilization. Now let's look at the type of metrics we collect for the server target. Under target menu, go to monitoring and choose all metrics. This shows the list of all the metrics collected for this target. It's a very comprehensive list. You can configure each of these metrics for collection schedule 
you can set up thresholds that can trigger an incident alert be it a critical or warning type let's look at some as some some parts of configuration management you can view the topology of the target this basically shows the graphical view of the relationship between various assets this target is associated with so this is the topology of the server target and various other entities or targets that are related to this target you can do compare of targets you can evaluate differences between two targets or same target at different time intervals you can also check drift compliance with the baseline configuration that you would have set up based on the policies in your data center you can also create blackout for this target that basically enables suspension of monitoring capabilities so that you can perform maintenance operation on this target these are some of the high level features of infrastructure management for various target types in enterprise manager cloud control 13c release thank you for watching